<laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. If you've been, been here, thank you so much for being a day one. And if you're watching from outside the club, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. It is a Friday morning and I think this is going to be a spend a day with me, get ready with me vibes. Because I am going to a wedding today. That is why I have this abdu. That is why I have this hairstyle. I've never done this before. Honestly, I've never done this before. But I like it. And I hope my makeup comes out nicely. Guys, has a dilemma. Has a dilemma. Like, here come geeky, guys. So this is what happened to me. So I went to my tailor in Kempton Park and I told him that I needed a dress. I had a vision of how I wanted to look immediately when I got the invite, which was last month, right? Sorry. My tailor was like, okay, cool. Just send me the design, just send me the, de the design. You guys remember we went to the to, to the tailor to show him the design, right? And then he was like, no, next week, Tuesday, he'll go get the material. And he didn't go get the material until it was the long weekend. And he was like, it's long weekend, it's closed everywhere, so I have to go on Tuesday, right? Yeah, Tuesday, this Tuesday, this week. He was like, he'll finish it in a day. Because I had lied and said the wedding was on Wednesday. So, 10 past 4. In Griao. <laughs> 10 past 4, guys. That's what happened. So on Tuesday, he kept quiet the whole day. And at 8 o'clock, we called him to find out what's going on with the outfit. He says he didn't find the material that I wanted, but he didn't communicate that with me. So now I was stranded. I didn't have a dress for the wedding. So yesterday, I went to the mall and I just picked something I could pick. It was already too late. So I don't even like what I'm going to wear, guys, but it's not my wedding. So... Nobody really cares that much. <laughs> so I'm gonna wear that dress that I bought. It's a bit big, so I'll just see how I go about it. At least my hair looks nice. At least I'm gonna do my makeup now and my makeup's also gonna come out nicely. Positive vibes. I'm being positive, guys. And yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup with you guys. I'm just doing my skincare routine. Just waiting for this filler hyal King hyaluronic acid to dry so I can use my sunscreen before I go to makeup which is primer foundation on all of that I think I want to go for a red lip guys let me let me tell you like a funny story yesterday I left the house to go buy the dress right so when I was at the mall I was like I really want the Fenty lipstick it's gonna look so nice with my outfit like I'm going all in and I went to Edgar's that lipstick is 600 right I went to Edgar's when I was in Edgar's I was like dude <laughs> You really can't afford this right now. Like, what are you doing? Like, you have red lipstick. That red lipstick, red lipstick still works. So, what are you doing? So, yesterday I left it because and I didn't buy the lipstick. I just bought the dress that I needed. And I just got some skincare products because, guys, like I told you, when I go to Welcome, something happens to my skin. So, my skin is very irritated over here. Like, it's so itchy. I, even, I was even dreading wearing makeup today. But, okay. It's a wedding day. It's a wedding day. I'm so excited. It's early in the morning. It's like 8 o'clock right now. My hair lady, 2R Online Fashions, I think that's her Instagram name. I'm going to put it on here. She came to my house at like 5 a.m. to do this because she had another booking at like 6, if I'm not mistaken. So, shout out to her. And also, guys, like if you book someone to do your hair, guys, and you want a house call, please do not be... Do not cut corners, guys. You are going to Uber to that person or you are going to drive to that person. So when they charge for transport, don't be weird and ask questions like, why don't you just come with a taxi? But wait, nah, if you are going personally, you are going to go with an Uber, especially in Johannesburg. Places are so far, like taking taxis, you like take two taxis to go to the person, you know? So can we please think of other people? When I was an MUA, I charged for transport, guys. And when I charged, it didn't matter if I was going to come with a taxi. I was going to charge for petrol to get me there do you understand because i'm not going to inconvenience myself just because you want a house call you know so i'm just saying guys if i plug someone on here and you go and 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 inquire about their services or use their services please calm down like don't go there with attitude don't go there and throw your weight around and say oh i got your contents from le bonza and you feel like you can just act however because it's not nice when i get feedback from a vendor hey so and so reached out from your people and this this is what they're doing do you understand like please don't don't show me in that light when you get to like the vendors that i plug with you guys on here like the same way you go to your mr prices and whatnot and you're kind please go with the same energy and don't go with like it's a small business and treat them however you want to treat them i'm back now guys i'm done 
holy chica guys i'm done shouting at you guys now we can start this video i'm gonna quickly use my sunscreen guys in my other video i said in my makeup video i said i wasn't gonna show my sunscreen because it's a bit pricey people came for me in the comment sections people who don't watch my vlogs because i have shown this sunscreen in my other vlogs if you are a lebonza if you've been been here you will know like she was just joking you know but people came for me so i'm gonna show it to you guys i feel like i should pause on here for like five minutes so that people can take a, scr a screenshot of this sunscreen because people shouted at me on that video this is the sunscreen i use i also use the nivea one or the userin one or the orange one from this game i forgot what it is but like this is my holy grail i believe in this more than i believe in myself i believe in this product more than i believe in you guys <laughs> I'm kidding, but I really believe in this product. And then from here on, I'm gonna prime my face. I'm gonna prime my face. The wedding is in Lakeside Wedding Venue, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. The theme is all black. I think the white the, the, the bride is the only one who's gonna be wearing white. Men can mix like black and white. And yeah, guys. I'm gonna be taking you guys with me. I'm not gonna like use a lot because I'm gonna have makeup on either way, but I just wanted to have it on my skin. I love the way this thing feels on my skin, guys. It feels so good. Like, I know it's gonna heal whatever's going on over here. And then now I'm gonna go to my primer, guys. I don't feel like unnecessary to show you guys which primer it is and whatnot. And when I say, guys, I don't feel like it's necessary. I mean, I've shown it in other videos that's exactly what i mean i've shown it to you guys in other videos just that in this video i'm not going to show it i don't mean it's not necessary in day i'm not going to show it to you guys i don't want to show it to you guys why would i gatekeep a sunscreen guys like i was hurt i was hurt on that makeup video ninja ni nina aban to basal ah le zhuang mar guys where's my primer guys jiggy jiggy i tried to record a video my primer disappears luna Where's my primer, guys? Oh, here it is. Let me just show it to you guys because I like you guys. This is the primer that I'm using. I'm having tea, guys, and my favorite mug that Martin used the other day when he was cooking. I didn't use sugar. I used condensed milk. I saw it on Sina Gugu's channel when she was making coffee with, um, with condensed milk. But I'm having it with tea because coffee gives me heart palpitations. So I, I drink it once in a while and I had it recently. So... I'm just in my tea era. So yeah, guys. Hadi kale. Hadi kale, guys. And then after this, after I do my makeup, we're quickly going to rush to the shopping center to go get lashes. Because again, I don't have lashes. I hate that this is becoming my life right now. I even feel like when I'm there, I'm going to stock up on the lashes already. And then come back, change. And then after changing, we head to the wedding. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Guys, what do silly people? It's silly people because of people that go on, go on, go on, go on, go shot, later. I'm feeling it. Actually, let me listen. Let me have a playlist for my makeup today. Like my my playlist is gonna be wedding music. Like I'm gonna start with like the famous one that we all use when someone is lobolad or anything like that. Also, guys, in my last video, I was talking about how Kinosi got lobolad. Like I closed it off with Lerato saying how kilos you got lobolad did i not realize while editing that i have like something over here i have a snort and i was like why didn't Lato tell me she doesn't tell me guys so i couldn't show that but like yeah we're telling you guys that our friend got lobolad but we're not going to a wedding day today we are going to someone else's wedding to kelly's wedding um she's been on my vlog she was on my vlog last year my birthday she came to my birthday lunch and she was also at my tombstone unveiling but she didn't show because she had left when I was recording. So yeah, um, I'm going to play the famous song that we all play when someone is Lobola on Instagram. Which is this one. I 
because I'm struggling with which eye to make like I know um, I always advise people when people ask me for makeup advice like they want to do their makeup they're going some way I always say try do the simplest thing you can do because trying a new thing and you're going somewhere it's amazing now you're trying to do a cut crease you never in your life cut a crease and now you start today to cut a crease and you're going to be with people it just doesn't look nice because you don't know it well you know i feel like when you're going to cut your crease cut it at home until you get it right then you can go out and about so i always say like if you're going somewhere and you want to do your makeup nice just stick to what you know ne? but today i'm breaking the rules guys i can't do like a brown eyeshadow and a red lipstick and that's it i want to cut my crease but i also don't want my my crease to be too too bold otherwise it's not gonna look nice when it's matching with the red lipstick to understand I want it to be calm and I want my I want my eyes to be calm and my lips to be like the statement do you understand so I really hope I'll be able to do that so I'm basing with this brown color with this eyeshadow from Nisa Beauty Lab I love it so much guys I love 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 it like the pigment is is the one and it also has shades that I, I used the most, you know. So I base with brown and then I'm going to come in when I cut my crease with a lighter color. So that I could draw magic. There's no drama. I tried to book a, ma a, a makeup artist again, guys. Not again, like I tried to book a makeup artist for the first time. Né? And then, guys, I realized that I'm not there financially. Like, I love this for me. Like, when I realized that I'm not there financially... It's not a nice moment to be in, but to be honest with yourself, it's like being honest with yourself is nice. Because once I commit and I pay, I'm going to suffer, you understand? I'm going to suffer, it's not going to be nice, it's not going to be a good month, you know? So the lady quoted me, like she charges 1.5 and then she charges 1.3 if her worker does your makeup, makeup. But I wanted her to do my makeup and it was going to be 1.5. So I was just like, it's good, it's cool. I'll come back next time when I've saved up for it. Cause her 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 makeup is amazing. Like her makeup is worth it because I know the products, the products she uses well, like expensive products. So I know that when she charges, she charges for that as well. Like she charges for talent. When people in makeup industries charge, they should charge for talent. They should charge for the products they use and for transport as well. So like when she said 1.5, I was taken back. But it's because I'm poor, guys. That's the only reason I was I was taken aback because in that moment I can't afford it. But one day I'll definitely book her and go when I do have the money, and I want to slay. Like I want those pictures to last for a lifetime. Like I feel like on that day I'm gonna do that. Um, think maybe when Martin and I sign, when we go f to like make our marriage legal, I'm going to go book her to do my makeup. And all of that. So we are married, guys. Let me just put it like this. Just to... I've never spoken about this. We are married traditionally. Like, we're done with Lobola. He's not going to come back again. Because most of the time, people come once. And then when they come again, I feel like that's when it's called marriage. I think when they come the first time, you're engaged traditionally. And then when they come finish it off, 
you're married if i'm not mistaken but also there is no finishing it off when it comes to lobola like you can come come and see you can, you can finish it off you're going to finish it off but never finish it off but your marriage is still a marriage you know like they always say like lobola i feel like something like that yeah you guys will correct me if i'm wrong in my in my comment section because what i say guys when i say things it's not law like it's just me sharing what i the knowledge that i have and i'm open to being corrected in the comment section and just being educated linda self guys so yeah this is what i'm doing now guys oh weddings are so nice i cannot wait for the vows i can't wait to see the bride it's, it's a white wedding guys she had a traditional wedding in march but unfortunately I couldn't attend and yeah I'm going to attend another wedding but in December so I'm glad that like I know now because like guys attending a wedding is expensive to be honest to truly be honest attending a wedding is so expensive from the gift from what you're going to wear like it's expensive you know so if someone tells you months in advance it makes everything way easier but yeah guys let me finish off my makeup and listen to I feel like that's the only wedding song that I know guys I want to play there's a DJ call me I can't wait to marry you my life oh my god I can't I need to grow up. Hey! Oh! Hey! Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy
going to finish everything off screen and head over to the shop to go get my lashes and then when I'm done get dressed and I'll show you everything when I am done let's go come on give me love I'm gonna show you how to move how to move with my body come hit me with your touch and make me want to say damn and yeah you know what's up ain't nothing I won't do I won't do for your body so give me all you got right now I'm here to make a voiceover because I realized while we were in the car traveling to the wedding that this part of the vlog was on mute because the mic was not connected. I was basically just plugging you guys with everything that I was wearing, like where I bought it. So the earrings are from Lovisa. They were 200 Rand. The hand jewelry I've plugged on here before. But this dress, guys, this dress it shocked me so much in this moment i was so grateful that my tailor had dropped me because i wasn't going to look like this me i was not going to look like this i was just quickly showing you guys the shoes that i was going to wear i was going to wear them in the car guys here i was still in my relaxed girl mode but yeah the shoes are from legit they were 150 guys i wanted us to go back to the dress I wanted us to have a little commotion for the dress because how dare I, like how dare I just wear this dress like this. So this dress was a bit, a bit big, guys. Uh, I had wished that I had time to go get it tailored to fit me properly, but there was no time. I literally bought it in the afternoon when I was going to the wedding the next day. But yeah, the dress is from Fushini Luella. It's 1,500 Rand. The dress shocked me, ne? guys. The dress shocked me. But my face, guys, look at me. I want you to see my reaction when I saw how I looked. <laughs> I hate that this part is on mute, guys. But I was so shook that my face had the ability to do this. Like, this entire time, I've lived with this face for 31 years. 
I didn't know it was possible for this face to do this. That is why I wanted to book a makeup artist to bring this side of me out. But I had the ability to bring it out myself. Guys, why did I want to book a person, guys? Can you guys gather in the comment section and ask this lady on here why she wanted to book a makeup artist when God has given her the talent to do this herself, guys? But yeah, guys, we were going to leave now, now. Like literally after I finished recording this, I headed to the car and we left for the wedding. And... I found out that I wasn't going to be able to vlog or take pictures or post on my gram. Like, not only me, but everybody who was attending because the bride is such a private person. But yeah, guys, let's travel to the wedding and we'll close off this vlog very, very soon. Let's go! So come give me love. so hectic i had to come to the bathroom to update you guys because i noticed that when i was leaving the house the mic was not connected i was saying to you guys i'm at the wedding now we just arrived at martin he's wearing black i'm also wearing black i think he was supposed to wear black and white but it's not that bad at least we're still within the theme but yeah guys i'm so excited to be here everybody looks amazing you guys and yeah, I'll take you guys through whatever I can take you through. The bride is a very private person, so I think I'll just record the decor and my friends when they arrive as well. And that's what will be in this vlog. But I'm so happy for her. I'm so excited even to be here. I haven't been into a white wedding in a long ass time, like a long time. So how are you doing, guys? How are you doing? <laughs> 